So what is modernization after all? Let's consider the thought process of plant managers today. Okay. They want to maximize the use of that, that existing equipment before they start having to invest new dollars, right? I mean, it's pretty simple. The problem though, they, still, they may be working conventional machines or old control systems that don't meet the new standards or can't get them where they want to go. Sometimes they run into issues where spare parts are obsolete. The OEMs, they may not even be in business anymore. That's a worst case scenario, but that scenario does exist, right? And these operating systems that they're on, they're probably out of date. So any one of these can be a case can really cause a problem. So what do you do? The answer, modernization. So Prasta Gupta said in the modernization of industrial machines, for a quote, the modernization of a machine means an introduction of changes into the design of machines which improve their performance and capacity and prolong their service life. It permits conversion of obsolete machines into semi-automatic and completely automatic machines with low expenditure in terms of labor, time, and money. Now that's a mouthful. So what is it really saying? It reminds me that everything is a life cycle. So if equipment has a time limit, how we act determines how we improve, okay? Just think of it that way. Let's say you bought, I'm going to give you an example, a brand new truck back in 2010. And it ran great. You did all the maintenance. You treated that thing like, just like gold, right? All the oil change, you put nothing but high octane. You, were, you waxed that thing every other weekend and you kept it in the garage. Now, it's 2021, 11 years later. And that vehicle has left you stranded a few times. You got 300,000 miles on it, you know? And you may be thinking, okay, it's time for replacement. Now, would you go and start searching for another 2010 model truck? And you may be laughing right now, but that's exactly what a lot of manufacturers do out there with failing equipment. They totally missed that opportunity to modernize because they're stuck being comfortable in that 2010 model truck, okay? So let's just think of it in your heart of hearts. Let's say you can't get rid of that vehicle. You know what? The 2010 is the best model truck. I'm done. We're going to figure out how to make that thing keep running. Well, there are ways to get around that, okay? And it comes to a, a section we call retrofitting. And that could be a great area to consider, okay? So that, that new, for the truck theme, maybe you get a new engine, new transmission, tires. You upgrade that dashboard and you're all set for another good run in that truck. So they're vi both viable strategies for business to take as they try to move forward in, in the future.